Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says Kentucky leads the nation in rates of acute hepatitis C. Now that's one reason for talk recently about needle exchange programs. They're very controversial. WIMT's Angela Riger talked to folks in Letcher County about what a program like that would mean for their community. Some say it encourages drug use, while others say it keeps everyone safe. We have a drug issue here. And if that is one of the answers, it might not be the answer. Danielle King is a public health practitioner at the Center for Rural Strategies. She says needle exchange programs are about welcoming everyone into the community. It allows people who are experiencing this type of addiction to come to a safe environment, to be anonymous particularly, um, and to exchange the, the used needles with the unused needles. King calls it a safeguard. She says the time to talk about these programs is sooner rather than later, considering what happened recently in Scott County, Indiana. I think that it began to wake people up when it hit Scott County. Scott County hasn't um, had anything as harsh as this, um, even with the inception of HIV AIDS. They haven't seen this. Um, but what does that say about the county in general? It says we didn't have enough safeguards in place. Matthew Combs is the county coordinator for the Letcher County Health Department. He says they've already started to talk about the program. When you have a smaller knit community, you know, you've, got, you've got multiple, chances are multiple sexual partners, use, you know, users, multiple users and users that know each other because it's such a small knit community. And um, with the needle exchange program, that would hopefully uh, prevent and, and try to protect you know, other users and future users of, of contracting a disease. Combs says the board will discuss needle exchange programs at their next meeting on July 14th. In Letcher County, Angela Riger, WYMT Mountain News. We also talked to Whitesburg Police Chief Tyrone Fields. He says although he sees plenty of drug use, he does not think a needle exchange program would be useful. He wonders if users would take the time to pick up clean needles.